All right, y'all, this is a problem out of 4.5. This is question number five. And so we have our function right here. What we want to do is it says f of x has one critical value at a. We're trying to find that critical value, okay? So look, let's go ahead and do that. Let's take our derivative, right? So we're going to find f prime at x. So that's going to be 5 times 5 minus 5x raised to the power 4, okay? And then remember, y'all, we still got to take the derivative of what's inside. So the derivative of what's inside is a negative 5. So my derivative, f prime at x, is going to be negative 25 times 5, 5 minus 5x to the power 4. To find our critical value, what we're going to do is we're going to take that derivative and we're going to set it equal to 0. To the fourth equals 0. We can divide by negative 25 on both sides. Those are going to go away. So I have, oops. I have 5 minus 5x to the 4th equals 0. We can take the 4th root on both sides. Okay, so those will cancel. So we have 5 minus 5x is equal to 0. When I move my 5x over, I'm going to get a 5 equals 5x. Dividing everything by 5, we come up with x is equal to 1. Okay, okay so we got our critical value critical value is at 1, okay? Now, we want to know, is the function increasing or decreasing, okay? So this is what we're going to do, y'all. We're going to draw a number line, okay? Let's draw a number line. It's going to look like this. We have one value, and that's the number 1, okay? Number over here is negative infinity. Over here is positive infinity, right? Okay, what we're going to do now, oops, we're going to pick a test number, okay? So something smaller than 1, how about we pick 0? Something bigger than 1, how about we pick 2, okay? We are now looking at the sign of f prime, okay? And then we can figure out what is happening with the function f, okay? So let's take a look. Remember, our derivative f of x, y'all, was equal to a negative 25, 5 minus 5x, oops, to the fourth power, okay? So first thing we're going to do, y'all, we're going to plug in 0. So let's see, if I plug in 0 right here, that's going to go away. 5 to the fourth is positive uh, times a negative number. That's going to be negative, okay? All right, let's take a look at what's going to happen over here. Uh, let's see, if I plug in 2, 5 times 2 is 10. 5 minus 10 is a negative 5, but if I raise it to the fourth, that's still going to be a positive number, isn't it? And if I multiply a positive number times a negative, it's going to be negative, right? So what's happening to my function? It's decreasing, and it's still decreasing, right? So right over here, y'all, we're going to say when x is small than a, f is, we're going to say it was, what, decreasing? and it should still be decreasing, right? Now, y'all, when I did my test numbers, I actually didn't, you know, you can see I didn't actually use my calculator, but I'm, I know that both of those numbers should be negative. Again, why? Because when I plug in zero, five times zero is zero. So what's five to the fourth? I don't know, it's a big number and it's positive, but times a negative number gives me negative, right? When I plug in 2, 5 times 2 is 10, but 5 minus 10 gives me negative 5. But when I raise it to the fourth power, that's still going to be positive. Times a negative number, still going to be negative, right? Again, you can verify this by plugging that number is actually in. And again, remember, we're only looking for the sign of the derivative, right? But when the sign of the derivative is negative, that means that my function is decreasing.